Hello everyone. My name is Arun Kumar. The learning objectives in today's modules will be you will be able to learn about virus and antivirus. You will also learn about various antiviruses available in the market. As computers become more and more integrated into our lives, we end up leaving many sensitive data on our computer from passwords to official email ID, your bank account to your personal notes, sometimes business plans and other confidential information. So a good security software is a must for everyone. We will now discuss what is a virus. So virus is a general term, but they are collectively known as malware. The word malware comes from malicious and software. The combination of both the words comes out to become the word malware. Malware are essentially five types. They can be various ways and means in which a typical virus can behave. The first type of the malware is uh, known as virus. Viruses are that particular piece of code which is written with malicious intent and they need user action to execute. And when they execute, they can damage your system, they can corrupt your file system, they can execute malicious instructions or be controlled from the person who has created them. The, the second form of malware is worms. Worms are similar kind of malicious piece of code, but then they can replicate on themselves. Once they are infected on a system, they can replicate within networks, within reaching another networks and different computers on the same network or different networks. The third type of malware is Trojan horse. The name Trojan horse has a history. You can search over the internet and know about how did this name uh, come to be known as Trojan horse. Basically, the, there was a big gift as a horse given to one city from another city and inside that life-sized, in fact, more than life-sized horse, there were soldiers and the city to which it was gifted was attacked by these soldiers. So basically when we come into the computer technology and mention Trojan horse, these are genuinely looking softwares, but these softwares have malicious piece of code inbuilt in them. And when you open them, they trigger actions which are not expected of them. So suppose you download a music player software and the music player works very fine but it also has a malicious code written inside of it and when it executes it carries out its own malicious task and instructions that it has been coded to do. The fourth kind of malware are rootkits. Rootkits are those specially crafted piece of codes which can get embedded into your root file system into your uh, master boot record and when you boot your system it gets embedded into the system as and when the computer gets booted and they are very very difficult to remove. In fact, most antiviruses fail to detect rootkits. The fifth type of malware is uh, a spyware which actually doesn't harm your system but then it, they actually see your behavior, see your browsing pattern, see personal information on your computer and transmit it back to their controlling server. So this was all about types of viruses. There are different malware which are there in the market, but these were the five main ways in which you can classify them. In fact, there are different type of malware known as ransomware, known as adwares and so on. Now let us discuss these 11 different type of antiviruses which are free to obtain and install. While I mentioned them, they are nowhere in order of preference. They are only in, in the order of alphabetical. So first is the Avast antivirus. Avast is a, one of the best free antivirus softwares available that provides a complete protection against security threats. This full featured antivirus package has the following features. Number one is it has a built-in anti-spyware. So if there is a spyware, trying to get installed on your system, it will prevent it. It also has an anti-rootkit. Remember the rootkits are very difficult to remove. Avast gives you an engine 
which detects rootkit and prevents your system. It has a web shield and a P2P and IM shield. P2P when I say these are peer-to-peer -peer network which is very famous for transferring malware from one system to the other commonly known as torrent websites where you download files so it has a shield for it there is a shield also for chat servers the IM instant messaging shield there is also a automatic update configured so you don't need to check for updates every time you switch on the antivirus software it also comes with Windows 64-bit support and an integrated virus cleaner, registry cleaner and a PC tuner. Next antivirus. Next antivirus on the list is AVG antivirus. The free edition provides basic antivirus and anti-spyware protection for Windows. Some features that include in the free edition are an antivirus engine, anti-spyware, and a safe surfing features. It prevents you from going to malicious website, malicious links. The third antivirus on the list is Avira, which is a very comprehensive, easy to use antivirus program. It is designed to be reliable and free of charge virus protection to home users. Avira has features which include protection from virus, worms and trojans, anti-rootkit, anti-phishing when we say anti-phishing anti-phishing features are when you receive email claiming to be from the original source and they require and want some of your personal information to claim a reward the fourth antivirus on the list is bitdefender the free edition uses the same certified scanning engine as found in the pro version so there's no difference between free edition and the pro version in terms of the scanning engine it allows you to enjoy basic virus protection for no cost at all it has an inbuilt and on-demand virus scanner and gives you scheduled scanning the next antivirus that i want to let you know is blink personal an all-in-one security suite with antivirus limited for one year so for the next year you will have to take it again it gives you features similar to other antivirus it has an antivirus solution and an anti spyware solution anti rootkit solution there's also a built-in firewall and identity protection for you the next antivirus that is very popular is calm win antivirus it is again an open source free antivirus program for windows starting from 98 to 2003 and vista it has a feature which has high detection rates for viruses automatic downloads of regularly updated virus database it also has a standalone virus scanner though it does not include an on-access real-time scanner but still it has other features which are available in pro version but this antivirus is giving you in its free version another very famous Antivirus on the list is Komodo antivirus. It has in fact all the functionality of a paid antivirus without the price. The features include that it detects and removes viruses from computers and networks. On access scanning conducts a real time scheduled virus scan. It comes with a host intrusion detection system which allows you to intercept viruses, spyware and other malware before they actually infect your computer it gives you latest updates of virus definitions every day in this way you are ahead of the curve and are protected against the latest threats the next antivirus is moon secure antivirus it aims to be the best free antivirus licensed under the gpl license it offers multiple scan engines a net shield it offers you a firewall which you can configure. It has a on access on execute scanner and rootkit prevention. And few features which are available in the commercial version are also available on this particular antivirus. Next on the list is PC tools antivirus. With PC tools antivirus free edition you are protected against the most nefarious cyber threats attempting to gain access to your pc and personal information in fact it protects you from virus worms trojan has also smart updates and an IntelliGuard protection file guard and an email guard inbuilt 
Another antivirus which is on the list is Rising Antivirus. The free edition is a solution with no cost to personal users for the life of the product while still provides the same level of detection and protection capability as other viruses. It protects your computers against all types of viruses, trojans, worms, rootkits and other malicious programs. It has a fairly good ease of use rating and a smart update technology. It makes it kind of an install and forget machine which doesn't bother you to focus on updating and scanning through the antivirus and rather focus on your main jobs with your computer. The next antivirus on the list is Threat Fire Lite. It provides comprehensive protection against viruses, worms, trojans, spyware, rootkits, keyloggers and buffer overflows. It has real-time behavior based malware detection, malware quarantine and removal feature. At the end, I would like to show you a particular website which helps people detect and submit new virus signatures to Google. So if you go to https colon double slash www.virustotal.com So this website is basically the subsidiary of Google. It has employed about 64 antiviruses and if you come across a file which you feel is malicious in nature and is less than 128 MB you can go to the website upload the file and get a result rating from 64 various antiviruses for free and suppose you have been forwarded a link which you feel that can be malicious in fact, I would suggest that you check every unknown link that is forwarded to you on VirusTotal before clicking it. So you can go to the website, click on the URL tab, copy paste the URL and press the search button. After that, you will get a report from 64, more than 64 different antiviruses, whether the click that you are about to make will be secure or not, or whether the file that you think is malicious has some signature which are malicious in nature or not. It gives you a comprehensive score from different antiviruses. It gives you a go no go for the link to be clicked or not. So apart from the free antivirus, we discussed various viruses and their types. We also discussed an online feature wherein you can upload your link, upload your file less than 128 MB to be judged by different antiviruses and give you a report. Thank you and a happy browsing.